The last natural remedy I'll cover is ashwagandha, or ASW. We'll review its potential indications and administration in psychiatric disorders. Ashwagandha is an extract of the Indian winter cherry plant called Withania somnifera. It has dozens of chemical components, and consequently it is difficult to assess the full spectrum of benefits and risk because there are so many chemicals involved. Evidence so far suggests that ashwagandha can improve capacity to do exercise, it can improve sleep quality, as well as cognitive functioning in people who have suffered traumatic brain injury, and also in individuals with high risk of dementia. Regarding some of the common psychiatric disorders, benefits have been proposed in anxiety, depression, OCD, schizophrenia, ADHD, and substance use disorders, as well as withdrawal from substances. Ashwagandha is generally well tolerated. The main side effects reported seem to be of the gastrointestinal type, specifically diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting, and these are thought to be due to a direct irritation caused by ashwagandha to the intestinal mucosa. A wide variety of potential mechanisms of action have been proposed for ashwagandha. Typically, it may decrease apoptosis, reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, and promote serotonergic activity, among others. And this may ultimately help to reduce stress, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. Let's talk a little bit about the evidence. Regarding anxiety and stress, there was a recent meta-analysis of 12 papers totaling a collective sample of about 1,000 patients of ages 25 to 48. Ashwagandha supplementation was shown to significantly reduce anxiety and stress levels compared to placebo as a whole. With regards to dosing, the doses used for stress ran in the range of 300 to 600 milligrams a day. For anxiety, doses went up to 12,000 milligrams a day. However, these recommendations should be taken with caution because the quality of these studies overall was considered less than optimal. Regarding anxiety, depression, and insomnia, there was a review of seven human trials using doses ranging from 125 to 1,000 milligrams a day. Also, evidence from animal studies was reviewed. By and large, it was thought to help improve symptoms of depression and insomnia I'll illustrate its potential use in a fifth patient, Anne. This is a 45-year-old woman with a history of long-standing depression, generalized anxiety disorder, and insomnia. She works in a high-stress environment. Historically, she has not been able to tolerate most registered psychotropic drugs. An individual like this with these symptoms could benefit from a trial of ashwagandha with the understanding discussed beforehand that data are limited. A patient like this might be best served by starting at a low dose of about 100 to 200 milligrams a day and then increase slowly and see if some benefit can be obtained. I'll end this section with three key points. Ashwagandha has been proposed to have a wide variety of psychiatric applications. Potential uses include anxiety, depression, OCD, schizophrenia, ADHD, and substance use disorders, as well as withdrawal. Patients and clinicians should always be alert for gastrointestinal side effects when using ashwagandha because these are the most commonly reported ones.